This is the Ted Fung's private car. What are you doing? Sure, I know that. Fung's carrying a chest of silver dollars to buy weapons from the foreigners. Bastard! How'd you know?
Brother Yang, we planned the job so carefully. It doesn't seem possible that we could have failed. How could someone beat us to it? Close the window and I'll show you. Right. Yes, right. Yes, right. <laughs> See this dagger? It was stuck into Lieutenant Fung's eye. The money must have been taken by the murderer. Try to think. Who could have taken it? The killer must be very brave. General Chen sent Fung to buy arms from the foreigners so that he could take control of our country. You know, if they had more arms, the warlords could prevail. The nationalists would be driven back to the south. Right. Don't forget. That silver can buy a lot. In this area, there are many bandit gangs. They all want it. Suppose the chest was stolen by them. What could we do? <laughs> but the silver's been stolen already. What do we do now? This small dagger shall be our clue. We must find who uses this type of weapon. <laughs> Brother Yang, one thing I don't understand. Fong was killed inside his compartment. The guards outside the door didn't know it. That seems logical. But then, inside his room, now wasn't there another officer? He should have known about it. Yeah, that's right. It is very strange. I have just talked to General Chan. If we do not recover the money, then we will all be shot. Delivering the silver was you and Lieutenant Fung's duty. I'm holding you responsible. Sir, Captain Lee, it's my phone. You are not the only one. We're for the firing squad. We'll be shot. Hmm. I don't think they've gotten far. Bring me the map. Sir. Come on over here. Sir. Sir. The tunnel is here. That was where the silver was stolen. There are only two ways out. And both of those roads lead to Lungshire town. The checkpoints must be informed. Tell them to be alert. I have told them. They're setting up more posts on the highway. Hmm. I've been told that the most important men around there are Tay Charlie and Chao Yi Tao. We have to see if they're willing to help us out. With their help, we can't fail. Sir. We'll leave for Ling Town right away. Try to call up Chao Yi Tao and tell him that I'm coming. Ask if he will see me. Sir. We must recover that case of silver. Oh, we'll all be shot. Hold it on, Mac. Come on, move it, two people. Come on. Move it, move it, move it. Get out of here. Tom, pick up your stuff again. Do that, do that. Turn on your bag. Hurry up, Come on. All right. Just keep moving. Keep moving. 
Get out of here. Sorry, Jim. Please take a look. Where are you going, Omar? Uh, as long as you're town. What's inside the car? Uh, it's a sick man. He must see the doctor. Lift the cover. Sergeant, he has a rare disease. Contagious. We better not. Stop going. Let me see him. Uh, uh, okay. Hey, hey. Uh, Come on, I'll wait the rest of you. Out of here. Come on. We're not quite sure. Uh, Sergeant, we've got to get a town. Go, go, go. Quickly, quickly. Get him out of here. Get him out. Uh, Stop. Move him. Move him. Get him out of here. Come on, Stay here and watch for it. Here, place the chest on the ground. Just over here. Quickly. Come. 
We can bury it here. Right there. That's it. Uh, teacher, you said that there are silver dollars in this chest. Are you sure it's true? I'm sure it is. But we might as well check it and see. You can open it now. Come on. Daggers are used by a famous woman bandit. Si Tan Song's her name. That's not all. She's always with her father. He's well known for his boxing. His name is Si Chen Fong. I've heard of them both before. She and her father only rob the rich, then give all the money back to the poor. <laughs> they must have the money. They won't give it up. Hmm. Maybe. better try to arrange a meeting with them and ask them to give us the money. Once they learn it is for the revolution, I'm sure they will not refuse us. They cannot have gone very far. Perhaps they're in Longshire town. There you rob me. Give it back.
Where did you get this? I found it lying in the road. <coughs> tell me where's the rest of it. If you don't tell me, ask me. Who the hell are you? <coughs> Hey, drink some wine. It'll do you good. Why did you beat me up and bring me here? <laughs> Never mind. I know already. Because we know Mr. Zi Tian Fung. He is my friend. That chest of silver was stolen by him. Mm -mm. I'd like to talk to him. <laughs> this small dagger, I found it stuck in a man's eye. Fung's his name. You know, we can always show this dagger to General Chan. And you can just imagine what would be the result. <laughs> <coughs> Must be Chen. He's betrayed our teacher. Oh. So, your teacher. Feng student. I understand. That guy in the room must be Chan. He was working with you. He never left the side of Lieutenant Feng. It's perfect. <laughs> How clever. An inside man. But you shouldn't blame your friend. It's not his fault. He didn't betray your teacher. I surprised him in the room. He didn't have a chance to remove his little weapon. What do you say? Are you going to take me to your teacher now? Hmm? That small dagger, that is the special weapon of Miss Fung. She is very accurate. You better change your mind. I'm afraid you meet the same fate as Fung did. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not afraid of any girl. We just want to talk to her. Dad, turn to the 
have returned long before now. What do we do if he's been caught? Uh -huh. Don't you worry about him. He'll take care of himself. We'll go visit Chowee Town and talk to see if he'll exchange the silver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dad, we can't trust Chowee Town. He's an agent for Ling. What if he turned us in? Mm -hmm. You think too much. He wouldn't betray an old friend like me now. Mm -hmm. Chowee Tow, your master. Sure, please. Uh, if you want to see him, you must. Announce my name clearly. Make sure that it is right. Yes, then your name is? Z Tempong. Uh-huh. Z Tempong. Uh-huh. Mr. Z. This way. Mr. Z. Our master is not here at the moment. He's left with his assistant. Could you talk to our fat master? Uh, while you're waiting for him. Huh? Are they coming back today? I have no idea. If you like, third master will see you. That is all right. Uh, please. This way. What's up? Go to see Fat Master. You will tell him that Mr. Z is waiting. Hurry. Put him away outside. Hey. We only know Mr. Chow and his assistant. Who is this new man? Oh, Fat Master is a new partner. He's young, yet he's very smart and capable. I'm sure that he can help you. Don't worry. Uh -huh. Mr. Z, you may come in now. Hey. Have a seat. Master's coming. believe you're here. Well, oh, Dad. <laughs> Sister, how are you? I haven't seen you for ages. You look even more beautiful. Listen here. I don't consider myself your sister. Don't try to act like nothing has happened. I cannot believe that you're working here as Chao Yi Tao's assistant. Bastard. I can tell you're not honorable. Teacher, I can never understand you. What do you mean I'm not honorable? It was you that asked me to leave. Because you thought me incapable since I worked here, I've become the third master. You're still just a small time bandit. <laughs> you son of a bitch! Dad, we better go. Chengyu, don't try to follow us. Daughter, come with me. Teacher, don't leave like this. I can see you don't have good manners. Why don't you stay here? We don't have time to answer. Dad! Start talking. I'm waiting. Just tell us what you want. Right. Tell your old man to leave first. You must stay with me tonight. Here's my answer. 
You dirty bastards. Okay. 
There's another thing. The guy who attacked me had a mustache. If you can find him, turn him into me at once. Captain Lean, the description of his backhand chart reminds me of a boxer I heard about before, young Zawu's only son, young... Mr. Chow, I'll leave it up to you. We'll do it. Goodbye. <laughs> See you soon. Hmm. Bye. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Captain, these guys are triad men. Can we trust them? <laughs> no sweat. I know how to control these triads. We shall put them to death, one by one. happened to you? Brother Joe. Sister, you must tell me what's happened. What's the matter? We couldn't find you, so we went to see Chow Yitao this morning. Do you remember Chung Yun? He's working as an assistant to Chow Yitao now. Huh? Where's your father? Tell me where he is. How could this happen? Tell me. You must tell me everything. Brother Joe, go! Revengeful father! This time, Paul? How could this happen? Tell me. You must tell me everything. Brother Joe, go! Revengeful father! This time, Paul? Who are you? Brother Joe. Who are these men? Young Chair. Wong Chang. Sister, you must go inside and talk. Miss Tan Fung, let's not talk about the chest. Just now you said that your father has been murdered by Cheng Yong. Who is Cheng Yong? None of your business. You want to revenge your father's death? We are prepared to help. Mr. Z and my father, we're very good friends. If you can, I'd always be grateful to you. I'll try my best. Thank you very much. Uh, sit down, please. Don't worry. We must discuss this carefully. Now tell me about this Chen Yong. The owner of the Chum Chum Gold Shop goes by the name Chao Yi Tao. We went there this morning. Chao Yu Tao was not there. We met one of my father's former students whose name is Chen Yong. Now he's third master in the triad. He's the one that ordered my father killed. Yeah. Now then, what did you want to see Chao Yu Tao for? Huh? Just tell him the truth. Dad said that we should see Chow Yu Tao to try and exchange the silver dollars. Dad thought that they would be reliable. Oh, who could tell? Oh, they don't know about the silver dollars? Is that what you mean? We are now only four, and you are wounded. To be successful, you will all have to obey me. 
If you two can help us to kill those bastards, we shall gladly obey you. Right. Wong Joe, yeah. I want you to go downtown and scout around. See if you can learn anything. Ah. The first thing you must do is move out of here. I think the our place is safer. Huh? Aren't you going to help us to get revenge? You must know that without planning, we will not be successful. They would kill us. Chow Yi Tao won't be easy to defeat. <coughs> Chen Fung and his daughter came here. They started a fight with us. Oh, just as I had thought. Well, the old man is dead, then where is his daughter? She has got away. Hmm. Brother, the girl can't get far. Listen, you are much too headstrong. It's obvious. That General Chan's chest of silver was stolen by them. Master, do you mean to say that? Ah, use your head. Well, then why do they want to talk to us? Ah, to exchange it, you dummy. Brother, how come you never take time out to think? You don't use your brain. I... Uh, why am I so stupid? Master... I'll find Chen Feng and bring her back here. You leave it to me. Brother, never mind that. See Chen Feng and other students. They want revenge. I'm sure they'll try to recover their teacher's body. Feng's men are sure to come back here. Brother Ma. Sir. You go and prepare us a coffin. We will set a trap to catch them. Who's there? It's me. Oh. Who's there? It's me. Oh. Any news? Tell me what's going on. Uh, Chow has bought a special coffin for Mr. Fong's body. Oh. Uh, we'll have a hard time getting him back. They've moved the coffin to the garden pavilion. Mm. It sounds like they're setting a trap. Brother Young, are you afraid to fight with them? <laughs> Of course we'll fight him. Listen, it just won't be good to have a trap set for us. And we won't kind of do it. No, you cannot expect us to wait any longer. We must attack now. Captain Ling, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mm -hmm. They had a meeting this afternoon. Sister Wang, take a look. Is that Sergeant your partner? Can he be trusted? Huh? It's you we don't trust. Quite right now. They're special troops. Army intelligence. Ling's their commander. Do you have any way to contact your partner? Got any password? We do. The code is, the bird's flying. Right.
Birds flying. Brother Chan has come. Brother, Brother Chan. Brother Chan. Huh? I want to introduce you. This is Mr. Young Chair. Huh? We. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was you. When I was on the train. Brother Young, come, let's sit down and have a talk. Right, right. Please take a seat. Sister. <gasps> Sister, where's teacher? What's wrong? He... <gasps> Brother, where is he? Mr. Z has been murdered. Cheng Young killed him. Cheng Young is working for the triad leader, Chai Tao. Where's the chest of silver? Well, sit down and talk. Please sit down. Please sit, sir. Please sit down here. Our assignment was to get the same chest of silver. But then, Sister Fung got it before us. Sister Fung won't tell you where the chest is in front of it. Brother Chan. Mr. Young is the son of Young Zi Wu. You must have heard of him. Mr. Young, an honor. Uh, never mind. We're all good friends here. What we intend to do satisfies us both. Oh, Mr. Young, what are your plans? Cha Yi Tao and Ling are in this together. Their forces are strong. To get revenge for Mr. Z won't be as easy as you think. We must plan with care. They won't just lie down and let us kill them. Somehow we must take them off guard. We will not fight until we are ready. Hmm. Master Chow. Master Chow. What is it? Five of Captain Ling's officers are here to see you. They're waiting in the parlor. Yes. Brother, I shall be back very soon. You wait here till I return. Sure. Captain Ling has heard. Si Chien Fong has been to see you. They did come here, but then Si Chien Fong was killed. His daughter managed to escape. As for the location of the silver chest, I don't know. Mr. Chow, Captain Ling thinks 
But they gave it to you. But you won't admit it. If Captain Ling doesn't trust me anymore, then I have nothing to say. Excuse me. Hold it! Captain Ling wants to question you at headquarters. Move! Who do you think you are? Turn it down! How dare you disobey! Go, sir! Brother! with him and killed Mr. Chow. I heard that two of them were Si Fong's students. Chen Lian Fu. Wait till I get my hands on that damn traitor. Come on. Sir. To Chang Chang's gold shop, quickly. Sir. Sir. Don't dare move. Don't move or I'll kill your fed master. Listen to him. Get away. Go. Go. I'm here to revenge you. Kneel down! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Shoot me. I'll spare your life if you tell the truth. The chest of silver. Tell me where you hid it. Don't shoot him yet. I want him alive. Where did you hide the money? You'll go free if you talk. Right. It's a deal. Walk over here and I'll tell you. Talk. <laughs> Closer.
着。Before it's too late. Have you forgotten Brother Jung now? I. We can't do anything to save him. I'm afraid that Captain Ling may find the chest. Then we will have worked for nothing. See you've been out. Tell me, where have you been? While you're gone, I take the silver to make sure it was still there. Ah, don't you think we should take it out before someone finds it? I want to take Captain Ling right to where we have buried the chest. Huh? Are you joking with me? We must save Brother Young. What do you mean? They'll kill you. Don't be so foolish. I have a plan. You can hide yourself at the place where the money is and attack Ling when I bring him out there. <laughs> no way. Ling would never come alone. <laughs> we can do it. Just leave it all to me now. Where do you want me to hide? The outskirts of town. You'll find a temple. It has been deserted. Hide yourself behind weeds nearby. Just wait for a chance, then we both will kill him. I see. You buried the money out there. Don't worry. I'll tell you later. We simply have to save Brother Jung. You must not fail him now. Be sure that you hide yourself well. We'll be in trouble if Ling sees you first. You talk. Some water now. Sir. There. Uh, He's the only lead we have to the money chest. Uh, what if he dies? For sure. He will have to start talking. Or we'll beat him to death. You'd better talk. Tell me where the money is hidden. You're wasting your time. What can I tell? I don't know where the silver is. I'll make you talk. Captain! What is it? Captain, there's a young lady to see you. A lady? I asked her name, but she refused to tell. She says she has an important message for you. She's here. Is 
Zi Tan Fong. You have a lot of nerve to have come here. Why should I be afraid? <laughs> Though I'm the one who stole the chest of money. Let's hear what you have to say. Do you need these men here? Are you trying to play games with me? Are you afraid to stay with me? I never knew that you're a coward. You men can go out. Sir. We should be able to make a deal. Release Young, and then you will get the money back. <laughs> All right, do you agree? He must mean quite a lot to you. He's a very good friend. <laughs> that guy Young is really going to be disappointed in you, good friend. Captain Ling, the silver chest, don't you want it? I think even if you should receive a promotion, it wouldn't be half as good as the money is. You know, before he died, my father had many plans for the money. He was going to raise his own army. And now, my father's dead. It has come to nothing. I can't change what happened. So why tell me? You were not the one who killed my father. We've no reason to hate each other. You and I may as well be friends. But you, now you're only a company commander, and you'll never be more. <coughs> what do you mean? I'm very important. It is up to you. Of course, your men can come with you. You can't keep the chest. If they come with us, you have to return it to General Chan, then. Mm -hmm. Make up your mind. Captain Ling, I'd like to see Mr. Young first. Do you mind? Come with me. Huh? Get out of here. Captain Ling here to set you free. Huh? Tell me, what did you promise him? Huh? Huh? The chest is stolen. Huh? Mm -hmm. Robert the young. Ah! Get out! Brother Young, 
This medicine is for your wounds. <clears throat> Captain Ling, did you make up your mind? Let us go right away. Don't do it! How can you give it to him? Believe you'll let us go free when he has got the money. I can't just let them kill you, Brother Young. You risked your life to help me revenge my father. Oh. Quit stalling. Come, come. what you want. You go and open it first. Forgive me.
but I got you, Mr. Fung. Thank you for getting me this bag of silver. It, it can't be true. <laughs> now the silver will completely belong to me. I hope you don't force me to use this gun. Go, get over there. Come, quick, come on. Don't argue with a pistol. Hong Chang, you better think it over. You know I have. I'm poor. I want money. I want money. I'm poor. The whole country is poor. Hong Chang, why should you betray your own country? The traitor. It's a damn shame. Father Young, I have another surprise for you. You will find out. We'd better go now. Come, we've a boat waiting for us. I think you should get some rest. Mm. Long time. He was too greedy. Brother Young, lift the deck cover and tell me what you see there. Nice. 